What's going on guys, welcome back to another photo beat tutorial. I made this video already, but my microphone ruined the whole video because it kept popping and stuff, so I have to remake it. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make rice gum thumbnails. They're really easy, but they look really good. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as always, let's make a new project. So click New Project. The dimensions are going to be 1280 by 720. Name it whatever you'd like and hit Create. Now what I'm going to do is find a picture of a gaming setup, and I got one right here. This is going to be our background. You can use your own background if you want. Just drag it into your photo P, or you can find a picture online. So I found my picture. I'm just going to right click on that. Copy image. Go back into my photo P tab and hit control V to paste it. So here's the image in our project. Now we got to come up with some kind of color scheme. So I'm going to go with like a blue. So just double click on your background layer. Go over to gradient overlay. Change the blend mode to multiply. And click this little color box right here and you can change the colors. So I'm going to change it to uh, blue. And the other one's going to be an even lighter blue, like this. Hit OK. And now we're done with that. So now we're going to do is we're going to add that little border that he has around all of his thumbnails. So go over here to your rectangle tool. Change the fill up here to white. And now all we have to do is draw the border ourselves. So you don't want it to be too thick because it doesn't look that great. So I did my bottom one. Now duplicate that layer and drag it to the top. And do the same for the sides. So I'm going to draw it out. Try to match the top and bottom. Duplicate it. Bring it over to the other side. So at this point, all you want to do is hold shift while you click all of the border layers and then right click, convert it to a smart object, double click on that new smart object you made, change the blend mode to uh, overlay, and there you go. Now you got your overlay and he also has a drop shadow inside of the border. So click drop shadow, change the angle to 90 degrees like this. Turn the distance down a bit to about 16 and the opacity is going to be pretty high. So now we're done with the drop shadow, so just hit OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our text. So click the little text icon right here. Click anywhere on your canvas and change the size to about 150. The font I'm going to be using is Lemon Milk. You can download it on thefont.com or check out my last video and I have a link to it in the description. But it's a really good one and it looks good on these thumbnails. So I'm going to type rice gum. And then I'm going to double click on that text layer we just made. Change the color to white. Add a black stroke. Like this. And then add a, another stroke. So click that plus sign. But this time change the color to white. And change the blend mode to overlay. Turn the size up a bit. And boom. There we go. We got his text pretty easily. So duplicate that text layer again. But this time I'm going to type tutorial. Like this. So click warp up here once you select your text. Change it to arc. I'm going to do negative 7. And on this one I'm going to do negative 7 as well. Hit OK. Now center these like this. And it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to bring in a picture of rice gum. So I'm just going to use a random image. And I'll show you how to crop them out. So you can crop yourself out too if you have a picture of you. Okay, I'm just going to choose this thumbnail. But I'm going to crop them out of it. So copy that image. Bring it back into Photo P. Control V. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all of these layers so I can just see this one. Go 
go over to your lasso tool on the left, click polygonal, and now I'm just going to select around him like this. Just click every time you want to add a new point until you get all the way around him. If you mess up, hit delete on your keyboard and it'll go back. Don't hit control Z, it'll make you redo the whole thing. I've done that many times. And I'll be back once I select him. Okay, so I selected him and there's a dotted line. Just hit control C and control V. It made a new layer so I can delete the last layer and now I have him. It's not the best cutout I know, but it'll do. So I'm just going to edit free transform. I'm going to shrink him. His hair is still a little messed up, so I'm just going to cut that part out. Um, yeah, like this and double click on that layer, go to stroke, change the blend mode to normal. And now we have him outlined like this. And now I'm going to unhide all my layers and maybe make my text a little bit smaller so I can have him on each side. Like this, what, what size is that? 121 pixels. And I'm gonna duplicate the rice gum layer so I have two of him now. But this time I'm going to rotate it the other way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my background layer, go over to my brush tool Change the size to about 190 and change the hardness to like 17, 18 and turn the opacity to about like 40. I forgot to mention to change your color at the bottom left where there's two boxes, change the top one. As you can see, mine is a light blue. So just change yours to one of the colors on your color scheme and click in different areas on your canvas to give it like a color flare see what I'm saying it's like a little touch but it's really nice he has that in some of his thumbnails too you don't want to do too much because then it doesn't look good but there we go now we're gonna do is we're gonna click our background layer go up to image adjustments brightness and contrast turn them both up a bit now go to image adjustments vibrance turn the vibrance and saturation up so where it's really bright now that we're done we're going to export so go up to file export as png make sure the quality is at 100 make sure dimensions are correct png and hit save and there it is so this is going to conclude my tutorial. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what tutorials you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.